My name is Piri Ackerman Barger, and I'm a faculty member at the Betty Irene Moore School of Nursing. I am a registered nurse, I'm a nurse educator, and I'm a nurse scientist. Unconscious bias is um, a process that happens in our brain that we're often not really aware of, um, but is, you know, this sort of constant operating mechanism. And it's based on the way our brain is designed, right? So we're taking in all of this information in any given time and our brain wants to categorize it and do something with it. And the main function of the brain is determine what is safe and what is a threat, right? So we're constantly categorizing that kind of stuff. So the brain wants to categorize. Meanwhile, we're taking in all of this information and sometimes we're taking in information and we don't even realize that we're taking in information. So just imagine yourself driving down the highway and you see a big billboard and there's a beautiful woman on the billboard selling what, a car, liquor, right? So just from that billboard, you've taken in information about what we consider to be beautiful in this country. Rarely do you see a woman who is, you know, not extremely thin or, you know, athletic looking on the billboard, right? So we're constantly taking in this information about what beauty looks like. Um, in our minds, we're also taking in information about what groups of people are familiar to us, what groups of people are safe. So you think about all the things that we see on the media, right? How are black men, for example, portrayed in the media? We usually see news clips of um, black men being dragged away by the cops. In fact, there was a television show called Cops that was about that exclusively, right? So we're taking in this information about what groups of people are safe and what groups of people are not, right? So one of the things that can be really painful about that process is that our unconscious bias does not always align with our value system. So to think of yourself as somebody that has an unconscious bias about a particular group of people, you may feel like, of course not, that is not my value system. But the problem is, is that it's unconscious and it's these messages that are a lot more broad. And yes, you are taking in that information. And yes, you do have unconscious bias. And if you ignore it, you'll just continue to have those biases. What the process that we hope people will engage in is recognizing their unconscious bias and then sort of starting the process of rewiring your mind and having dis different associations with groups of people or whatever your unconscious bias is. So then microaggressions are the, the physical manifestations of that unconscious bias, right? So if people don't think that nurses are as smart as doctors, they will say, wow, you're so smart. How come you didn't become a doctor? A lot of people ask about um, how do we engage in a process of undoing unconscious bias? Um, so it may seem very simple, but one of the things is to come to terms with the fact that all of us have that. And you know, a lot of the work that I do is trying to convince people that yes, I have it and you have it. And that doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. I mean, we really tend to get into this line of thinking that if I have unconscious bias, I'm a bad person. I don't feel like a bad person, I don't wanna be a bad person, therefore I must not have unconscious bias, right? So we're trying to reframe the way that people think about that. Um, so in terms of actually mitigating the unconscious bias, some of the things that we can do is expand our known reality. And so the, the groups of people that we tend to have unconscious bias against are groups that we're not as familiar with. It's hard to have a close relationship with somebody in a particular group and continue to have unconscious bias, right? So we're really asking people to engage with folks that are different from you. If you feel uncomfortable with a certain group of people, that means you probably have something going on and this is a great time to get to know more people. And these are um, authentic relationships, like, you know, going to the grocery store and having a checker who is from a different identity than you doesn't count. This is like having a meaningful relationship where you both can learn.